Hello guys, welcome to TPW Talking Pro Wrestling, and boy what a match, well, event, Forbidden Door was. Um, buy-in was amazing, uh, the entire, the, the actual Forbidden Door event was incredible, and I'm just coming back, like, half an hour after the event happened at the time of this recording, and it was amazing. It was incredible. I was very, I was very pleased with the card. I know the build-up to the event wasn't good, but the matchups were amazing. Um, and most of the predictions that I made were, in fact, true, which is incredible it it's surreal to me that my first prediction i make here on tpw is well it was a success so i'm going to start off with the uh i'm going to start off first with the uh hiroki goto and the yoshihashi taking on the uh, the Factory, QT Marshall, and Aaron Solo, since that's what was first. And I'm going to go short and simple with most of these ma matchups. Um, Hiroki, Goto, and Yoshihashi won this matchup, and that's all I'm going to say. Next was a matchup that I did not predict. But I'm going to talk about it anyway, sort of. Uh, Lance Archer went one on one with uh, Nick Camarado. I did not think that was going to happen. I didn't realize there was going to be another matchup to the buy in. It was very interesting. Uh, it just came out of the blue. But Lance Archer won that match. It was a pretty decent buy in matchup, too. I was very excited. And just these first two matchups that we that was on the buy-in, I was like, "Wow, Forbidden Door is gonna be good." But I I I knew that from the start. There was gonna be many great matchups. I already knew. Then Swerve in our glory uh, went one on one. Well, they went in tag team action. I mean, they took on well. They took on El Desperado and and his tag team partner. Uh, Swerve on our glory won that matchup. And now I have the Ass Claimed taking on the LA Dojo. And the Ass Claimed won that. So it's all big stuff that happened there. Um... From what I've gotten so far, everything that I predicted on the buy-in was correct. Uh, I got three predictions correct so far. Uh, the Lance Archer thing I can't count because I didn't predict anything. So, now we're going to go to the actual card itself. Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and Minoru Suzuki... Took on Eddie Kingston, Shoto Umino, and Wheeler Yuta. And Jericho's team won that. I was not surprised by that. Uh, the heels are getting the advantage for Blood and Guts, and I saw that coming. And then there's the triple threat. Uh, tag team match for the IWGP World Heavyweight Tag Team Championships and the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships. And it was a winner-takes-all match. Uh, FTR won that. I got that correct as well. Uh, so that gives me five currently. Yes, five of my predictions were correct. So everything I've predicted so far, I've gotten correct. 
So that's good. Um, then there was the Fatal 4-Way for the All-Atlantic Championship. Um, it, that was Pac, Miro, Clark Connors, and Malachi Black. And I predicted Malachi was going to win it, but I was wrong. Pac won it. And I'm very happy for Pac. I really am. Uh, like I said on my predictions video or episode, I am not disappointed that Pac won it. Um, I'm very happy for Pac. Um, I wonder who Pac's first opponent is going to be. And I, I think it's going to be Malachi, but I am not sure about that. Honestly, I think Mac Malachi should be the one to take the All-Atlantic title off of Pac. Um, but uh, whatever happens, well, it happened. So that's the first one that I got wrong, though. And so far, I'm doing well for myself. Then the Bullet Club, the trio's t tag match. Uh, the reunion with the Bullet Club, the Young Bucks, El Fantasmo versus the Dudes with Attitudes, uh, Darby Allen, Sting, and Shingo Takagi. I predicted the Bullet Club was going to win, but that was wrong as uh, the Dudes with Attitudes won. And I'm not upset about that either. I saw that match come in, go in either way. I really thought the Bullet Club should have won that, but I'm okay with the Dudes with Attitudes winning too. Um, good job. That was a great matchup. Um, all I'm going to say is, it's Sting! Just incredible. Huh. But now it is time for the... AEW Women's World Championship match, Thunder Rosa versus Tony Storm. And I predicted Thunder Rosa was going to win it, and she did. And she retained her Women's Championship. And this is good. And that was a great matchup. I'm glad Thunder Rosa retained because now she can defend her Women's Championship in other companies, as well as AEW. With, with the cross-promotion thing, like I said, it's a big deal. I'm glad that's happening. So I got that right, and I'm glad I got that right. It's been great. I'm very excited. Then the IWGP United States Championship match happened. Will Ospreay versus Orange Cassidy. And we were promised Orange Cassidy... Got gets a new theme song that did not happen, which is all right. Um, it's whatever. Uh, but here's the thing: I was very excited for this matchup. Uh, Will Osprey retained, so that gives me seven predictions out of nine so far. That's good. That's good to see. And then Zack Saber Jr. and his mystery opponent. Not only did I, first of all, I got Claudio Castagnoli right. I that's great, but I wanted Zack Saber Jr. to win. But I did say Claudio was probably going to win it, but I predicted Zack Saber Jr. anyway. So I only got the mystery opponent part right. So that's eight out of ten. Eleven. 10. Yeah. 10. That's good. No, 7 out of 10. I got 7 out of 10. That's what I meant. I had 7 out of 10. No, I had 8 out of 10. Anyway, whatever. Um, I'm ready for Claudio Castagioli, though. I, I, I said his name wrong. It's Claudio Castagioli. But it's whatever. Uh, I'm very excited. Uh, I'm ready for him. Uh, he's a great addition to the AEW roster. Anyway, 
the fatal four-way matchup happened too as Jay White versus Ka- Ka- Kazuchika Okada versus Hangman Adam Page versus Adam Cole happened. And Jay White retained that. Bonus points, he pinned Adam Cole as well. And that was... I was ready. I was like, I'm glad that happened. Story time with Jay White, baby. <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway, the interim AEW World Championship happened too as John Moxley went on to take Hiroshi Tanahashi and John Moxley won that. So I got 10 out of... 13, correct. 14, I got 10 out of 14, correct. That's good. That's very good. I'm very happy with this, that this is good. And that's all I'm going to say. Um, I'll do a blood and guts prediction thing either Tuesday or not long before. And then I then after I do my results for Blood and Guts, I will make my predictions for Impact Wrestling and then I will do the results for that. And then I will do Rampage and results for Rampage and then I will do MLW Fusion on on Friday as well. And I will do the results for that once I watch it, which is probably going to be Saturday. I am not going to be doing New Japan Strong this time around. So uh, thank you all for watching TPW Talking Pro Wrestling. I'll see you guys next time.